Oad did you say when President Donald Trump refer to Haiti and Salvador and some African nations as Seton Cautis? What did you say when the President of the United States followed that comment by suggesting he'd rather see more immigrants from country like Norway? Whether now or in the future, you will be asked this question. What did you say? Did you call out the obvious racism behind those statements? Did you acknowledge that the leader of the free world by title? Anyway, he shown himself to be a white supremacist casually expressing his dislike of brown skin immigrants and preference for white European immigrants. Would you outrage that such comment from a sitting president would antithetical to the idea that have born way made America a beacon of hope and opportunity? What did you say? Did you speak out? Did you deny the comment? Except me a love a Utah Republican whose parents came to America from Haiti, did saying in a statement, this behavior is unacceptable from the leader of our nation, the president must apologize to both the American people and the nation here so only Merlai, or did you keep quiet? Take note because you will be asked Trump has been a presidency filled with the dropping moment of offensive behavior, but this one will stand out over time, both for its profane nature and its naked racism. So what did you say? Did you look for excuses? Did you toss out a well? What about scenario you thought might take the hit off? Did you scream something about identity politics and try to pretend that this is at the fall of others, not the fall of the transparently racist old man in the White House. Did you say he had a boy? Did you say, well, those country are sito. And they did you forget how people want this great immigrant from Italy and Ireland? Did you forget the Uton a plug at the Statue of Liberty? Zip me your tie at your poor, your hard old basis earning to breed free. The red to review of your teaming so send this the homeless tempestos to me. He leave me lamb beside the golden did you forget those suit or that signal them? Did you smile about a text break and say nothing? Did you not put the pieces together and consider all the other time Trump has shown us exactly who he is? Did you thumb down memory of his call for the execution of the Central Park Five even after the young man for black and one Latino were found innocent? Did you explain a way what Trump was implying in this tweet from 2013 according to Bill O'Reilly, 80% mập ô đờ xuất tính in New York City or Black Chip US Hispanic, that figure go to 98%, 1% why, did you disregard his year long beer the cruiser against the nation first black president his description of Mexican immigrant as rapist and criminal his regular criticism that immigrant coming from predominantly non-white nation a example of those country was people if you not let your Sell see the pattern need you tweet logic into not and blame it on the media on political correctness. What did you say when our president go other country city and you had to see your children here from profanity on the nightly news? What did you tell your children about this moment? How did you explain the president would tell me? What did you say mark it down? Let it be known because you will be asked this again someday. And if you stay silent, if you Make excuses if you try to fool yourself into believing this is appropriate presidential behavior. If you let it slide because this presidency might somehow lie your pocketbook, then you will be remembered as complicit as one who stood by and let America's decency get dragged through the mud. And if you laugh or if you smile or if you not do your head in agreement, you will be remembered just as some views as a racist, a fool. An absolute E M B A R A S S M E N T A U P P K E R C O N C H I C A G O T R I B U N E C O M I E L A T E D P R E S I D E N T O The country an apology from a tech protection for immigrants from Seton country in Ovanov fit meeting from Seton remark is the latest in long string of racial provocation.